Hey guys, this is Techwiz X. Welcome to finally my room tour. Let's take a look. As soon as you come into my room, you're greeted by my Big Red, my custom Arcade 1UP Neo Geo. Let's take a look at it. This is an Arcade 1UP Street Fighter cabinet that I modded with a Raspberry Pi. It is loaded with over 3,000 arcade games. All these games are favorites of mine since growing up from the 70s all the way up to 1999. I love playing Pac-Man. I'm always trying to get the highest score possible. If not Pac-Man, there's always Miss Pac. It has Sanwa joysticks, LED lights, and car speakers for the audio. It is covered head to toe by a Zabos body sticker. I even gave it a working coin door. Growing up, I always dreamed of owning an arcade machine, and thanks to Arcade 1UP, I finally can. I have a very large Transformers collection which includes Optimus Prime Megatron as well as my favorite one which is Fortress Maximus. He towers over all my other Transformers. In addition to Transformers Generation 1, I also enjoy other toy properties such as He-Man and the Masters of the Universe, Thundercats, the real Ghostbusters, as well as Filmation's Ghostbusters. These include playsets such as Castle Grayskull, the Cat Slayer from Thundercats, the Firehouse from the Real Ghostbusters, and the House from the Filmation Ghostbusters. In front of my game room is my 32 inch monitor, as well as my Elgato light key, my webcam, and my Blue Yeti. Please come back where I'll be doing my weekly live streams. Being a child of the 70s, you know my favorite video game has to be Pac-Man. As you can see, I have practically every Pac-Man figure and toy imaginable. From plushes to figures to a miniature. That's my favorite. As you see, I have a few vintage games nearby, from Pac-Man to Arcade Defender, as well as my favorite over here, Qbert. I also have a small collection of modded 3DS consoles. Besides the Neo Geo Arcade 1UP, I also have a Rampage cabinet, but that one is yet to be modded. Maybe sometime in the future, it will be. I have a pretty large collection of Game & Watch systems which include Super Mario, Zelda, Donkey Kong, as well as the Panorama systems like Popeye and Snoopy. I even have the Microverse systems which allow you to detach the controllers from multiplayer. As you can see, I love my logos, especially this nice custom GameCube one. It's modded and it lights up. I also have a Japanese Nintendo 64 Pikachu as well as a Virtual Boy. One of my biggest and complete collections is my Amiibos. I even have hard to find Japanese imports as well as Box Boy from Japan. I purchased these acrylic stands from Amazon. Those are the best things possible for these Amiibos. I'm so happy I got them. On my back wall is my video game collection, from my very tiny Xbox One to my larger PlayStation VR which is currently complete, including imports. One of the most expensive PlayStation VR games is Job Simulator. This was the hardest game to find. I luckily got it very cheap, at only $60. Now it's worth around $250. As well as those, I have the complete current Nintendo Switch American set. I'm trying to go for those rare ones, but you know, limited run games, how they are, and super rare. You gotta be on top of them, otherwise you're gonna lose out. And it's triple on eBay. 
Since I have a large extensive Switch collection, you yeah, know I had to get this. Growing up in the 80s, every kid dreamed of having an arcade in their house. The closest we got was the Coleco tabletops. As you can see, I have everything from Pac-Man, Miss Pac-Man, Donkey Kong, even to ones that never existed, like Mario Brothers, Amiga Race, and Berserk. Those I had to custom make myself. The two showcases that you see when you walk in is filled with Super Sonico figures. Everyone imaginable. Hope it doesn't distract my viewers, some of it's a little risque. And one of my biggest Super Sonicos is this beautiful one right here. I have no place to put it, it has to stay outside on top of my Super Nintendos and my large collection of PlayStation Classics. In addition to my Dark Stalker keychain collection, I have these Vampire Hunter figures. My prize collection includes Felicia, which is the most rarest figure. It took me 20 years to finally find this on eBay. You don't want to know how much it cost me. This was my game room. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time. But until then, get out! If you like this video, please subscribe, like, and share. Thanks for watching.